hi welcome to my channel so i've not been on much i haven't been on at all actually um and the reason for that is because of the pandemic okay i've not been on because i haven't been, had anything to do i've had nothing to put in my bullet journal i mean i'll show you look it just looks awful uh <laughs> i don't even remember half the time to fill it out so as you can see look there's days there where i just i just haven't bothered i literally haven't bothered it all looks completely empty i haven't bought a card in days and days and days um i don't i keep forgetting to do i just don't pick it up i just don't touch it you know this i can do because i can look back in my phone and the facts are all there um i've completely given up with that i just want, I need to get back into the habit of using it. That's the awful thing is that I'm I'm not I'm not actually um, in the habit of using it. So I've got a running task list for tomorrow. Um, this is what Daryl and I agreed on that we were going to have breakfast. We were going to do some schoolwork, and then we're going to go shopping, and uh, then we're going to tidy up his room. And this is the stuff that we want from the shops. That, that's what I'm up to on the bullet journal so I thought I'd do an art journal page for you because I don't do these online very often um, and I thought it might be fun this was a, the last page I did um, you might have seen this on Instagram um, my daughter and her fiance had uh, I, I did a photo shoot for them um, in their garden <laughs> maintaining social distancing believe it or not you can do a photo shoot and uh not actually have contact yeah it's just you just have to say move your arm down a little bit a little bit more a little bit that's too far move back up again <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun so um i put this nice little um lovers in the air vellum over that photo of them um then there was this one of them laughing which i just, I just thought this was adorable and then there was a love noun a profoundly tender passionate affection for another person this was daryl out on a walk with our dog um up on the cliff but look at all the daisies i love daisies and i really wish you could buy daisy seeds so that i could plant it and have them on my lawn but i you can't because they're a weed and places just don't sell them so if anybody knows how i can get daisies on my lawn i would love it um a little bit of heart washy um smile always and this is daryl having a drink down at my mum's so <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i've received a couple of post cards which i thought was lovely on post crossings um but i don't want to put them in the middle so i'm going to do a little tuck spot i've already got this one up and going the cool thing about this paper is you can have it either way i used a die that i got off of aliexpress i did originally stick a doily to it and i sort of had the doily packet but I, then i decided i didn't like it so i'm thinking of just making it a tuck spot maybe on the edge of the paper like so and just gluing it on the end there so that you literally just tuck them in like that my charging cable's doing my head in just tuck them in like that that's that's my thought and then i can fill this up with other stuff what do you think or do i do it in the middle which might hold it a bit i don't see i don't know and 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 like do i just glue it down the, the straight edge or do i glue it at the top so i glue it at the top and bottom then these will have to go in sort of like this which i suppose isn't too bad but i was sort of kind of hoping they'd go in more like that and if i glue it there will the movement of the spine eventually damage the glue and oh i don't know i think i'm gonna do it on the edge of the page because i could always stick a paper clip on it if it doesn't work so i'm going to put that on i decided to have a little box of this is what i'm going to use <laughs> um, i've got a couple of stencils in here that i want to have a play with three actually that i want to have a play with um there's my number stencil and i've got um a little collage of pictures that i want to put in and a little butterfly that I thought I would add to match the the doohickey so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off by gluing this down and then that can dry while I so it goes on the edge of the page like that I could 
even hold it in place with a paper clip, couldn't I? And then I won't accidentally nudge it. Yeah, so that's what we do. Right, let's put everything back in the box. That's the whole point of having the box on. And then I can get on and do the rest. So I'm going to use wet glue because this is quite a good glue. And um, <coughs> it, um, I can get it to be not horrendously thick. You know, I've made that quite thick. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab a paper clip just to help hold it in place while it's drying. I've got no idea how long this takes to dry. It's quite quick, I think. I was quite gratified the other day because I used this. This is a laminated thing that I made. And then I was watching an old Momo video. No, it wasn't an old one. It was, it was a recent one. And she has one as well. Hers doesn't have a pattern on it. It's just a... Um, this is a piece of laminate and she uses it like a uh, 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 like a blending mat right now before we end up with glue absolutely freaking everywhere we're going to wipe up any excess on both the front and the back be careful when you're wiping up glue, especially if you're wiping it on a already watercoloured page. Now, yeah, she she's all she's done on hers is she's just stuck a sheet through the laminator so that it um it's see through. Whereas mine's got my chart underneath, which I, I quite like. I'm just gonna run a bone folder. It's creased a little bit, but that's fine. That's absolutely perfect i don't think i need it but just to give it a little bit of extra woohumph okay so see my trolley's not even in position because I, I literally haven't done fuck all on it so date is the 25th i also said in a live video we were chatting um if you don't you might be like me i personally don't like watching lives when they're not no longer live you're supposed to be asleep i'm not online so there's nobody for you to say hello to go on off you go hello. go on bed please Bye. good night good night now go to sleep yeah personally um i don't like watching a live after the fact you know a record a, 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 yeah yeah once it's no longer like I don't, I don't like it i don't do it um which i know probably upsets quite a few people <laughs> but you know that's just the way it is i don't watch anybody's live so if you're feeling offended because i may watch your other videos but i don't watch your live it's just the way it is i just don't i just don't like it um <sighs> where was i going with this oh yeah and in the live i did the other week i said that when i make my next journal I may not bother printing the dot grid for the journal part of it. I will for the planner, you know, the bit with my trackers and my, my, my weeklies and that. But for this bit, I don't, I don't know that I'm going to bother because by the time I've gone and splurged watercolour down on it, I can't really see it. And when I write, I don't tend to follow it anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking I may just not fucking bother okay so that looks really really nice i like that i can't wait to tuck okay i want to put that back in my thing reuse your wipes okay honest to god reuse them take them out tear them in half okay the, the top one not all of them take take one out tear it in half shove the other half back in in the corner out of the way use the other half that is in your hand for whatever it is that you're going to do scrunch it back up and chuck it back in because I only use those for arty stuff. And if I want a clean one for, you know, say Daryl's got a filthy face, I'll go down a couple and pull one out. Okay? All I've ever got on here is a little bit of dried glue or watercolour paint. It's not going to hurt him. Um, I've even taken my makeup off with one that's covered in watercolour paint before now. You know? And you can reuse it. And if you put it back in that packet, it will keep it wet. 
which will keep it useful basically so okay right what are we going to do what should we do what should we do what should we do so i've got my little photo because it's a collage of several things and i want to cut it up i may use a bit of my weekend kit from oh man i'm so useless at stuff like this is it citrus twist the weekend kit i got the other week is it citrus twist that i get those from Oh. Yeah, the weekend one. I may use a bit of that. I don't know. I didn't need to look at that. That's my labels. Might well use that anyway. Right, there's not really much ephemera in there. Did I put them in the book? Ugh. Okay, so we want to put a picture of my son fussing the pussycat. We painted our toenails, which are you know and then the dog did some did some sunbathing some worshipper that she is now what should i do with the citrus twist stuff oh yeah i scattered it throughout now i really wish i hadn't done that yeah i wish i'd kept it down the uh kept it all in one bag i've already thrown the bag away so i'm in the process of making a new ephemera book and it would have been finished today or yesterday but um i ran out of thread so yeah i want to put this matters with the ones of us doing our toes i like that some days should come with a pause button stamp but it's quite a large stamp do you know i might put that on there and i could fit her there picture of my dog conked out in the shade of a see-through chair <laughs> then we could put that further down with that so i don't have to use everything that i've got out it's just you know that is my aim at the moment so i'm thinking i could do this oh, if i put that there Sundays could come the pull button there. Always use the block that fits it the snuggest. Don't use a giant fucking block for like a small stamp because it's just, it's just, um, that's how you get like marks. So yeah, I'm thinking I'll put that there. I'm thinking if I use a green or oh, the peacock one to match that oh or i've got a green that will match that oh yeah, yeah. i've got citrus uh, twisted citron i've got two two darker greens but i don't think they'll match i'm thinking of uh no oh, it's my favorite one peacock something or other it is my stamps are stacked in a box um, in my drawer next to me. My pads, rather. And normally they clip together like this, which is great. But because I store the little pads underneath, they don't always... It's always at the fucking bottom. So do I match that or do I match that? The pads underneath sometimes stop them clipping together properly. And of course, when you're trying to put them down, they decide to fall apart and make a mess. I've also got these dots, which I could match. I think I'm going to do the teal. I think the teal would show up better. The peacock feathers would show up better on this than that wheel. But I'm going to use that for something else. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of that down. Under where the photo is going to be, just for a bit of interest, like so. Love diamonds. Diamonds are always great. Now, do I want them under that? I moved as I was doing it, which was <laughs> very annoying. Right. Okay. So. 
that is the twisted citron it's very 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 bright you know it looks luminous but it comes out well it comes out quite nice as you can see that's my son and i painted our toenails <laughs> it was fun he thought it was he thinks it's brilliant that he's got purple toes okay so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna stick that there and that there so we could put that there next to the picture then i could add my my saturday i know it's saturday and i'm doing a sunday's fucking stamp aren't i but oh well Never mind, I just thought that. <laughs> uh, or should I change it for Sweet Saturday Morning? And then it would be more relevant, wouldn't it? I suppose that, yeah. See, now you've got, now I'm doubting myself, look. That's because I don't normally do a day all in, in one go. Normally when I'm doing an art journal page like this, I um, do a bit and then I go, I go away and leave it. And then I'll come back to it a bit later on, you know? Oh my god, this whole thing just come off. Why do these never stay stuck? I would normally put that on a block, but I'm thinking it might mould better if I just do it by hand. If it doesn't, then I can stick the photo over the top of it. Mainly, I'm just being lazy, I just don't want to take my book out. I should test this as well, but I'm not going to. Because, you know, I'm being a rebel. So if I put that there, and I want that about there. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's, um, it's a bit patchy, but I think once it dries, it'll be all right. I hate when this, the top sheet comes off. It bugs me. Because you can never get it back on, like, straight. And that really annoys me especially on um like one of my stamps because it's um it's the um alphabet one and it's the letter i is so so thin that i keep dropping the fucking thing and then having to spend hours crawling around on the floor looking for it by flashlight because it's it's teeny tiny and i just think if these actually stuck together better i wouldn't have that problem it hasn't shown up as well as i like so I'm going to trace around the letters in a minute. Okay, right. Let's start then by getting a poke tool. Getting a poke tool helps you just separate the picture from the background. I keep doing it and then letting go. It's because I haven't got my nails. I'm really struggling without my nails. Okay, so I want that roughly there. And then I'm just going to tuck it under. Not all the way, just to about there. And then what I'll do for this is I'll get a little bit of glue across the top half. Could use tape as well. Tapes over there, and I can't be bothered. And then I want to line this up with the top of the page basically. I want to line it up, and I want to have it in the middle. So I'll put it about there. Because the good thing about a glue stick is, is you get a little bit of wiggle room so you can move it if necessary. Yeah. dog um let me my glue sticker for a minute uh 
what I want is my super super duper duper fine uni pin pen. Yeah, I'm just going to trace around the actual stamp just to give it that wee bit of definition. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you know, try and get it as on as possible. But like that, that's going to leave a lot to be desired. Sweet Saturday morning. See, and just tracing it gives it that little you know whoa look at me type thing so now i can add on my always try to work like with the picture facing you and work in a corner so i hold it between my thumb and my forefinger i'm not even holding it in shot and then you just sort of pick at it until it comes away Sometimes you have to turn it around, but I find if I turn it with the back towards me, it per it just pe it peels off layers of the back. It's mad. I can stick that down. The correct way up would be a good job. <laughs> so let's stick that about there. Lovely. My son is so photogenic. Now, I do want to include a little note, um, and this is what this is for, the um, vellum, because I'm going to include a little note as to what the um, rates are for the pandemic here on the island where I live. And I've got these nice little stamps that I got from Paper Artsy. Um, I only really need that one that's right at the top naturally so I just I used that the other week and um, it worked out really really well that one to make up the top. I mean I actually bought it for this one it says notes on it and it's got a nice little sort of um, you know this is this one but it's a bit big for what I want it for um, because what I want to write on it is here on the Isle of Wight where I live. Now, bearing in mind, um, the island is tiny, okay? It's like 24 by 17 miles. Um, we have had uh, uh, 82 cases confirmed, 21 recoveries and 19 deaths. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to stamp this down and then this will cover it. Yeah. Now that one I am going to use a block for. So, okay, you've got a red stamp and you're like, well, how the fuck do I use it? Because it's not on a block and, you know, it doesn't stick. The trick is, is to use a bit of a glue stick. All right, get your glue stick. Glue on the back of here like so and then stick it to your stamping block okay like so okay it won't fall off it will stay there okay but you're like oh but hang on a minute it's fine it's fine don't panic i'm going to use that turquoise again just because I think it will look nice. Put it there, press as normal, use it as normal. The unmounted, as they're called, unmounted rubber stamps are cheaper than uh, also on postage as well as on actual buying because they're so much lighter when they're not mounted. Okay, so you do that. There you go, see, lovely, look at that. How pretty is that? Clean off your ink. yeah like so and then all you do is you just peel it off okay because you only used a glue stick or you could use that um again and again stuff but we don't get that here in the uk 
so just use a glue stick it's only temporary you know and then when you're done just give it a good wipe and don't forget to clean your glue stick as well I know you can't see what I'm doing I'm literally just wipe oh you can just I'm just wiping it my stamping block it's my most used one so it's filthy naturally even though I clean it semi-regularly <laughs> right put that somewhere to dry and then don't forget put your wipe away now I'm gonna remove my paper clip Not glued on good good and I'm gonna stick this on here should I do it directly in the middle do you think so on the back, it doesn't say anything on the back. Yeah. Oh, I can even write the date in there, look. I feel the need to unwind. I'm just going to write daily. I use that same Unipin fine liner. Very, very carefully now. Ink the back of the, uh, ink the back of the inking it that's something i haven't done and inked it i'm going to use a uh, vintage photo distress oxide that's what i inked this with i'm going to line that up as well side of the page lovely and then that can with a little bit of tape it will fit over the top of that perfectly. Okay. And I find the best thing... The, ah, I'm stuck. The best one to use is... This. I have got no idea what size this is. It is super, 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 super thin. It's probably like eighth, an eighth or two eighths or... Hang on, let's have a look. It's two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, two sixteenths. So what? One eighth is that? I don't fucking know. I can't read this stupid thing. One, two, three. Yeah, an eighth, eighth of an inch. I don't, as you may have guessed, I don't work in inches. Okay, and then all you do is you get a bit. Of course, you also want to make sure that you've actually got this around the right way because I don't think I have. Yes. Okay, so this is the front. It's going to go like that. So all you do is you turn it over. You get a little bit of tape and you run it along the top. Now, do it so that you know exactly where you are. And believe me, once it's down, you won't even notice. And then just burnish it down like so. So let's see what pen am I going to use. I have right stats. H2 cases. Which doesn't sound a lot when you take into account that, you know, some places have had thousands upon thousands. But we we don't have a very big population here. Um, hey Siri. What's the population of the Isle of Wight, UK? As of 2018, the population of Isle of Wight was 141,538. You know, so that it's, it's not that many when you take into account that, you know, the population of cities and the states and all that lot. Okay, so now we do, you wait for your ink to dry wait for your ink to dry so while that's drying i'm going to get my pen and just color in my number because i always do that as you should know if you watch my previous videos be very very careful when you are using a heat gun around um sprocket paper because it can discolor the paper 
Okay, so now all you need to do is let's try to escape. Peel your backing off, position it how you would like. The only reason I'm able to move it is because I haven't actually pressed it down. And then that's it. It's now stuck in place like so it just I think it's necessary to record it it's necessary the right word yes necessary it is necessary to record it um, this is having such a monumental effect on the entire planet of course it's necessary to record it but it doesn't have to be staring you in the face yeah so I want to draw kind of border around my I'm not going to do that one because I don't want to lift that and risk it coming off but that's also you could use that as another tuck if you wanted to cover up you know a picture or whatever okay so I'd say we're about done didn't you the moment of truth oh god these work this is lovely it's, uh, this was made for me both of these came from Germany and she made that which I thought was beautiful so the moment of truth has arrived yes it's actually really tight i think the glue spread quite a lot which is fine i should have done it further up but you know what it doesn't matter because you can just move things up awesome that's really good i'm really pleased with that use next use less glue next time though so um not my usual thing is this something you would like to see me do more often because if i if if you do if this is something you want to see me just mucking around chucking shit on paper we could do that yeah it, it would pro also give me the little bit of an oomph that i maybe need uh, oh for those of you that are interested i've now been recording for 51 minutes and 36 seconds so that's how long it took it took about 50 minutes okay less than an hour um It'll take me another hour to, <laughs> to edit, but there you go. So yeah, if this is something that you would like to see um, on, a, on, on, a, on a more regular basis, side by side to the bullet journal videos, which will start up again when life starts up again, there is no point in me drawing a weekly when at the moment my weeks look like um yeah i mean at the moment my weeks look you know they're empty you know daryl was supposed to go back to school this week well because he, he hasn't done school is not open here so there are no appointments you know i was supposed to get my nails done this week. I couldn't get my nails done so you know there are no appointments nothing um that's may I don't think I'm going to bother setting up weeklies in May. I'm going to set up the month of May. I'm going to sketch it out probably tomorrow um, after we've done our little list. But I think I may actually try the bullet journal method that I've started doing um, today just for May. You know, I might just do this for May and see see how it comes out. Because who knows, I might actually like it. But yeah, I will set up sketching in May and do that. And there will be a video for that probably tomorrow. But is this the kind of thing? Do you do you want to see this kind of thing when I've got things to, to, to post? I mean, what I tend to do is I tend to put, as you can see, paint down on my spreads a couple of days in advance. So um, I will write on this one and then I will prep this one because if I write on this, and then put water down on this it will pull the ink through the page and it, the ink will show up on this side whereas like on these ones the ink hasn't shown through because I waited until after after I watercolored to do it so I will have to um, yeah I put me a bit of plastic in there wherever the hell that's gone my page there it is yeah so what so what will happen is i'll put my bit of thingy there 
and then I'll do that and then I'll just water colour the whole thing I just splosh down a shitload of water dry it off with a heat gun and then I just close the book until I'm ready to get there that's why I've got pages ready so next time if you want I could do a spread on here and then we could prep this or I could prep this dry the heat gun and then do my spread here it, whatever I mean if this is something you want to see let me know leave me a thumbs up or say so in the comments or whatever um please please do do re you know give me a thumbs up or, or, or kisses for daryl in the comments he loves his kisses from you guys he really really does um i like when you interact with me as well i'm really sorry i haven't been here i'm okay i've had a few people contact me and go you all right we haven't seen you for a bit i'm absolutely fine honest god i'm i'm fine i just it's kind of like you know that whole i'd love to live in a log cabin in the woods somewhere and just shut the door on society i kind of feel like that you know i see my neighbors occasionally I, i'm very lucky that there's a shop three doors down so we can get what you know essentials but other than that i'm at home and i'm being a little homebody and i'm not tidying i mean look at the fucking state of my desk it's just something else you know I'm, i might put on my to-do list <laughs> um but i'm enjoying being at home i'm enjoying i've been sat watching my son streaming every afternoon and then I catch up with YouTube in the evening or I'm, you know, binge watching the TV or something. So, you know, I'm absolutely fine. I've just not anything to put in the journals. So I haven't been doing it. But, you know, we could we could decorate some pages ready if if that's the kind of thing you want to see. Whatever. Let me know down below. Okay? thank you so so much for joining me today i really really do appreciate it i always do and for those of you that have contacted me to say are oh, you all right i'm fine thank you i love you for checking in on me i'm really sorry i'm a crap friend and that i don't check in on everybody else because i am i'm crap i'm whole, i'm awful all right but i do appreciate those of you that have stayed in touch with me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it hey give it a thumbs down if you didn't and if you did whichever one you did tell me why okay i'm not gonna be offended you know somebody did on one of my videos not that long ago she put i watched this it was a review i watched this but you talked too much this is a 17 minute video or a review video i was like okay sorry you didn't like it that's what you'll get you'll get okay sorry you didn't like it if, if you don't like it tell me why down below kisses and thumbs up if you've got nothing to say just leave us kisses we love all that um please subscribe i would appreciate that as well that's the book down in that corner down there um or the little round icon that will appear any any second now uh if it hasn't already because you know it goes in in the last 15 seconds so yeah please subscribe click the bell down below and you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today dog's having a drink i'm off to go and watch some gotham i think and knit on a blanket in april because i'm insane take it easy i love you loads